Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favor and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for being there, you know, catching up with me, dropping those beautiful comments, you know, suggesting different video content, all of that being appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you are if you've been watching my videos for a while I have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and also if you feel like you're getting good vibes or even just good information that you would love to share with the loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it go ahead and sh uh, share and post on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for stopping by the channel and showing support and love to me as well and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to this um beautiful meditation i don't know if you can even hear it let me turn it up just a little bit more i'm in my room today so it's kind of different um okay there it goes it's called deep relaxation ambient music space music steady sleep uh, meditation i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey oka the sacred clown miss mickey morgan i'm dedicating this to her because she had asked me Rosalind, can you please talk about the sacred clown sacred clown is basically like um a short-term word um it's uh you know sacred count clown uh the what is it sacred clown gesture the fool you know it's just a you know a short term for Hayoka's. um it's it was something that was really intriguing to me i remember it was like people asked me how did you find out you were you know a Hayoka? since i was little i've always been fascinated with native americans um you know how they do things how they speak um just fascinated on how they do things with you know their tribe or you know their native land and you know things about history that I used to always read up on my mom used to tell me about it because we used to live in Oklahoma for a while and in Texas so we were around a lot of different tribes um we had family members that were married into our family like Cherokee and you know all these different ones I'm not really familiar with but it was like very intriguing for me to you know find out different things about you know native americans um how they do things how they you know they they feed or you know certain things that they do in their tribes and things that they you know they don't do in certain places and all that stuff and you know about their native land so it was just like i had friends like when i lived in the midwest that used to get like i was like dad y'all get checks just for being indian so i was like what the heck is going on they said no because of, you know their land or whatever you know they got basically got paid for that so i was like wow you know that's interesting you know i didn't know about crazy stuff like that you know it's like not trying to offend anybody or anything like that but it was just you know very intriguing to me so it was like um probably about a year it was a year ago, but I actually had dreams about it then, but I didn't know the significance on the reason why I kept on having dreams about sitting here, like, in front of a fire, like, out in the summertime. It was, like, late at night, and, you know, there was this chief that I used to go to. It was, like, Chief Proudfoot or something like that. I can't remember the name, but I'm going to just say Chief Proudfoot, and, um... He used to always just sit up here and tell me, you know, I'd just be like a little girl and just sit into the things that they used to tell me about their native country or how they used to th do things with their forefathers, you know, back in their generation, different generations on how they used to do things, on how they used to eat, how they, you know, they do their family and stay together. Because, you know, they were always proud about their family, always stuck up for family members and stuff like that. And they were very close knit. So it was just a lot of things they were trying to teach me, but they were speaking in their language. I'm like, but yet I was like communicating with them in that language. I'm like, what the heck? I don't know this language. But they used to call me Little Hayoka. And I'm like, what is a Little Hayoka? My name is Rosalind. Why do you keep calling me that? You'll find out soon, Little Hayoka. So it was like, I didn't know how to spell it or anything like that. But I just started having these dreams about um, 
an Indian chief and his wife, you know, and they were just showing me like the the war paint they used to have and um, the different things. I used to find like little arrowheads and my mom used to give me little turquoise rings that, you know, she was like, oh, well, you know, a certain family member, they were Indian and they had all these you know this certain jewelry that they you know their your grandparents made or whatever and they just sent it down or whatever so my mom used to show me a lot of turquoise and everything that they had and was very very beautiful so it was like all these things that you know I can sit up here and think about but basically it's like the sacred sacred clown and Hayoka is pretty much the same thing it's just the way we go through things it's like we try to make light of the you know the the chaos that we go through it's like we don't be serious about things we go through hard times but we make jokes out of them like i didn't even know will smith was supposed to be a hayoka but it's just like it makes a lot of sense because he i mean the man acts straight plum fool but he's serious at times and it's like things that he would say is like tag you know that's really deep but i get it i understand and it's just like there's certain things that i do if you've been with me for a while you will see my videos i, I try to make jokes about certain things you know not to be so serious and get you to understand, you know, sometimes we have to laugh to keep from crying. You know, there are certain times we get frustrated because we go through so much hell. And after you get through all these things, you can actually say you're grateful. So it's just like when you meet people, it's like we, we step into people's lives. And they're like, you know, I've even talked on one-on-one -on -one with people like, Rosalind, why do these people come up and just want to tell me their life story? Or they'll tell me, you know, blessings are coming my way or you're never alone. It's just certain things they would tell you. And you're like, I don't even know these people. Why do they keep telling me these things? They are sent our way, you know, for us to help. Or, or we get sent, people sent our, towards our ways. For just to let us know things are going to be okay. You know, it might look crazy or chaotic. It's going to be okay. So it's just like going through all these different things and learning about that. It was very interesting to me because it's like, you know, when I really start reading about the things that Hayokas went through, even from times of birth, um, sometimes they're twins which you know like i told y'all before if you've been sitting with me for a while um i was supposed to be a twin i was um i always used to tell my mom you know when i was five years old i was a twin i used to cry a lot saying i wanted to be with my twin brother i wanted to be with my twin brother my mom argued me up and down saying rosalyn you do not have a twin brother i'm like yes i do my brother's name skipper and i died but he's still living and all these things my mom was just like really freaking out like my daughter is really weird <laughs> you know but she loved it she found it very interesting because i was telling her about my past life i told her i was a twin that did not make it but i was always around my brother you know we used to always play in front of this little oak tree and i used to see him with his siblings and i used to always tell him you know why you keep talking to somebody there is nobody standing there with you it's like just because you can't see her don't mean i can't and my my brother you know skipper uh used to always argue about that you know and it was just like certain times I remember just thinking about it today I was watching something about twins and I got very emotional because it started bringing me back to things that you know um I used to experience as a child that I did not quite understand how my mom was like you are not a twin but you know it's like certain people in my dad's family have told me you know how we were able to know that he was supposed to be a twin I was like because I was the twin that died you know, so it's just certain things that I know I should have known that I do know. So it's just like, hell, because when we were born, we probably had, to be, you know, there's twins or you were born breech. Um, my mom did have complications delivering me. Um, it was just like, we, it's like I always said, I was doomed from the womb. <laughs> I was doomed from the womb, but it's like when I tell people on one-on-one, -on -one, it, it was like certain times I could get so frustrated. Like, why am I going through so much pain? Why am I going getting hurt by all these people that I reached out to? You know, I know I'm I I can be fault. There's things I've done. It's just you know I can't play victim or play this blame on just them but I know there were certain things that I do you know because it's just like with me being blunt I'm like no not cool I'm always like you have no filter I'm like no I don't and it's just like you know now I'm just like more careful with my words you know even though there are certain times you know truth will hurt because people can come up to me I'll tell them real quick fast in a hurry you know I don't mind being one-on-one -on -one with you if I can help you I'll do my best to be able to help you out but I tell them also 
I'm not that person that's going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you things that you're not going to want to hear. There's going to be truth, you know, but you have to be able to prepare, prepare yourself for that. I'm like, not going to pick the, you know, pick, you know, how some people can just be mean, just to be mean because they feel like they have to. I'm not that type of person. But if you ask me something, I'd rather for you to be hurt with the truth instead of a lie. You know, because it's just like a lot of times we don't like hearing the truth about ourselves, the things that we need to change or things that we need to walk away from. There's a lot of people I had to walk away from because they weren't listening to me. And it was just like when I pray for them, I hope they were, you know, they heal, they find the answers that they're looking for. They can finally see what I was trying to tell them. But it was like if it's toxicating towards me, I, I can't deal with it. But I also tell them, too, you have to be willing to want to help yourself as well. You know, I can't just help you do all the work and you're not trying to do that. And you're trying to say, Rosalind, this is not working. If you're not doing the work for yourself, of course it's not going to work out. Because, you know, I, there's times that, you know... There's things I didn't want to listen to, you know, just like I told y'all about my drug addiction, you know, being, you know, smoking marijuana, you know, it was, it was, um, uh, like my medicine to stop the energy, block the energy from coming towards me because I was hypersensitive or I would hear different voices in my head and it would just drive me crazy. Not like on, you know, schizophrenic or whatever like that, but it was just like so many things I didn't understand. I just wanted to shut it off. You know, I can even get people's thought process, like the things that I can blurt out saying something. I'm like, hey, that wasn't me, you know, and I had to stop that, you know, and it was just like so many times I had to, you know, try to control that. And it was like when we when we meet people, we mirror things they don't understand. They mirror things they, they really don't like, like, hey, you need to change this about yourself. And this is like, wait a minute, you don't know me, whatever. And he's just like, well, yeah, I know you. obviously I'm sent to your life or something. And it's like, we're supposed to be able to help other people just like we're supposed to be helping ourselves. But there's a lot of times, you know, people will talk to me and ask, you know, Roz, where do you come up with these crazy metaphors? I'm like, I don't know. You know, I just, you know, that's just my way of trying to show you or tell you about things. And people laugh at it like, girl, you are so crazy. Or, you know, and it's just like you're so fun to hang out with, but then you can be an itch when you want to be. I'm like, yeah, you know, but that's just a Hayoka being a Hayoka. So it was just a lot of things I had to study and look up on. Because I was just like the sacred clown, you know, and Mickey was like, well, let her know the sacred clown is the same thing. Yes, it's just a different term. And I'm trying to see if I'm pronouncing that the uh, Layoka. Late, late, I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if I'm messing up to my tribe. But, you know, there's, you know, people like, oh, are you a part of the Laoka or whatever? And I'm like, what is that? You know, like, oh, no, you're not a part of this. Because there's sometimes people come up to me and start talking of Indian words. I'm like, baby, I don't know what you're talking about. But I'm going to go look this up. And, <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, uh, I'm, you know, I'm kind of stupid on that term. I don't know what you're saying to me. And I hope you're not disrespecting me. But I didn't know. So it's just like so many people are bringing different things to me that I'm learning about. I love finding out new things, you know, because it opens me up to, you know, when we're gifted, especially being empaths, you know, you might, you know, connect with me or connect with any other videos that are, you know, you're trying to do research, research on to find out why am I the way I am? Why do I have more questions than I have answers? And it's just like certain times we have to meditate. We have to sit there and be quiet, go through nature and, um, you know, seek our answers. You know, a lot of times our dreams tell us things that we weren't aware of, movies, books that we you know we're attracted to all those different things so it's just like amazing you can go through these things and hold on pause for the cause so i'm sorry about that y'all but it's just like so many things that we you know we have questions for on why we are the way we are so it's just like for us being hayokas you know we try to make light of terms but we also mirror things to people that they really don't want to know about themselves that you know we're like trying to give them that smack a reality they're like hey this is something you need to change or hey this is something you need to pay attention to and it's like a blessing that i'm like that it's like a blessing and a curse because a lot of times the curseful side is you lose a lot of friends for that because some people don't want to hear the truth about themselves the truth can hurt but then uh, the blessing part of it is you you're able to show people 
you know, this is a part of you, you need to, you know, you need to acknowledge, this is the part of you, you need to learn, because there's so many people I have met lately that they did not know there were certain gifts, you know, they're multi-gifted, you know, I was like, hey, you need to find out about this, because just by, you know, I tell them, okay, tell me your story, and I, you know, I try to see if I can, you know, analyze things, you know, to you, um, on the things that you might be, or the things that you need to look up. And, you know, that's the blessing part about it. You know, I was talking to a good friend the other day and, you know, I sat back and I had so many things that I went through on the time I took my break. And, you know, I really sat there and analyzed the things that I was going through, the people I had to separate myself from, the people that are coming into my life. It was like I was blessed for all those things. Even though I, at the time I was going through it, I was really pissed off. Like, why am I going through this? It's frustrating me. You know, what is the lesson I had to learn about this? And it was just like, if I could have calmed down and just paid attention to the things I was going through, I can see why I was going through the things I was going through it for. So when I actually did that, you know, all of a sudden I just started crying tears of glory and told universe and God saying, thank you. You know, I, I, I felt like I was being punished. You know, I said, I put so many positive things out. Why am I getting punished all these times while I'm pushing out positive things and the people that are pushing out negative things, nothing happening to them that I knew of. So it was just like when I can actually say I'm blessed to be able to have neglect. I'm blessed for being in abusive situations. I was blessed for being uh, neglected, being abandoned. You know, all those things because I wouldn't have been able to know the true me. You know, finding out I'm a twin flame, indigo, INFJ, white witch, um, Hayoka, indigo. So, so it's just different things that you, you know, you get to experience. And you can actually say your downfalls can be a big blessing to you. Because without these things, you wouldn't have been able to know all these things about yourself. So I just look at all the things that I go through. And I'm proud of the fact that I went through them because if it wasn't for that, I want to know the things I know about myself. So I hope this was able to clear up anybody that had any situations or concerns about them being a Hayoka. You know, there's still more things that I've, you know, I probably research on that I haven't known about that I need to about Hayokas. You know, like as I learn, I go ahead and make videos about it so, you know, people can be aware of the things that are going on too. Be like, hey, you know, I did go through that. But it's just like for Hayokas. You know, we had issues being born into the world. We do things ass backwards. Instead of, like, letting things go, we go investigate it on reason why we're going through the things we're going through it. And we just take the long way of going through it. And it's like, girl, you could have just let this go. Or, dude, you could have let this go. But we we, t we went through this just so you'll have a story to tell for other people that can relate to you on the situations they're going through. So I hope it was able to resonate with you. I hope you had a blessed, safe weekend. You enjoyed yourself and you were safe. And you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And, you know, knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And the post notification shout out I'm going to do for today. Let me see. I forgot to leave my page open. Oh, I apologize, y'all. I've got so many different people that are in my, um, that has subscribed, but, oh, Jennifer Douglas, I forgot, she's new to the, uh, family, the extended family, so I hope you have blessed, blessed safe weekend and many blessings, infinite abundance, uh, loving, loving vibes, healing vibes, and uplifting vibes to anybody who truly needs them. You know, drop me a line. I'd love to get a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And let me know if you're on the notification squad so I can go ahead and give you a shout out. And I will talk to y'all later. Go ahead and share the video as well. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.